2019 is turning out to be an interesting year for budget smartphones and today I have with me three budget smartphones, the Redmi 6, Realme C1 and the recently launched Galaxy M10. So let's see which smartphone will be crowned as the budget king. In previous years, budget-oriented devices usually cut off on the build quality of the devices. However, that is not the case anymore and even these devices are sturdier than ever. Having said that, Redmi 6 is a little cheap to the touch and applying pressure will show that. The Realme C1 and the Galaxy M10 though are the exact opposite as it's really strong even though they are made of plastic. The Redmi 6 is the compact phone here but still the Galaxy M10 fits more naturally on the hands. The Realme C1 just looks bulky and thick. Right off the bat, anyone will identify the Redmi 6 as a Xiaomi smartphone. This is because Xiaomi is still continuing its 3-year-old design language, which is pretty boring. The other two devices have tried their best to look trendy and that has worked. The M10 certainly has a distinct appearance out of the three with the V-shaped notch. The Redmi 6 no-notch design is also good but the C1's massive notch is an eyesore. Overall, the Galaxy M10 has been the best design and build for me out of the three devices. The display also follows the same story as the M10 defeats the other two by miles and one of the reasons for that is the notch itself. Even though there is no AMOLED panel here, the PLS TFT screen on the M10 still does a great job. The colors are accurate, color tone is natural and the saturation is good. The next in line is the C1 which isn't really a match for the M10 but is still vibrant with the help of punchy colors. So the M10 has a balanced screen that does well in all the aspects. However, the Redmi 6 has dull colors and can't really shine. Performance in budget smartphones is the deciding factor and these three phones did not freeze even once. Theoretically, with the Snapdragon 450 at helm, I expected the Realme C1 to be the best at performance. However, I was really really surprised with the real-life usage. The Galaxy M10 outperforms the other two as it is smoother. Maybe this is due to the software optimization Samsung has integrated on it. And the same thing happens with gaming. Geekbench and iStorm benchmark rated both the Redmi 6 and Realme C1 much higher than the M10. But playing a few high demanding games on all the phones, I clearly noticed better smoothness on the Galaxy M10 while the Realme C1 and Redmi 6 came second. Low end games like Clash Royale, Knife Hit and Gold Battle ran without any issues on all three devices. And even though these phones are budget devices, I played PUBG and it was playable on all three even with the presence of stutters. However, Redmi 6 failed to load up Asphalt 9 and Dream Soccer League was unplayable in the Realme C1. Meanwhile, the Galaxy M10 ran both the games very smoothly. So like in the design and display department, the Galaxy M10 is a clear winner in the performance department as well. Talking about the software, all three phones run on Android 8.1 Oreo with the respective UI on top. I personally like the MIUI 10 and the Samsung Experience UI. However, the color OS on Realme is not my cup of tea but it completely depends on your preference. Talking about the battery, the Realme C1 with its huge 4230mAh battery is the clear winner here. The M10 comes second followed by the Redmi 6. On to the security front, the Redmi 6 wins the battle as it is the only smartphone to come with a fingerprint scanner. It however lacks the face unlock feature, the C1 and M10 can unlock the phones with faces though. Let's talk about cameras now. Cameras are turning out to be as important as performance these days and while the lenses on budget smartphones don't really shine, they do a commendable job for the price being asked. And I got to see that when I compared these three devices. Talking about the selfies, the M10's images had natural looking colors than the rest. Its live focus feature overshadowed the C1 and the Realme 6. Overall, the C1 comes in second and the Redmi 6 comes at last. On to the rare, all three phones have dual cameras. In daytime, the Galaxy M10 resulted in photos with colors that were natural and had ample details. The Realme C1 shot saturated images but were unnatural. The Redmi 6 was left far behind by the other two phones. However, the Galaxy M10 has a little issue with focusing as it takes some time to focus onto the subjects. Also, the Realme C1 has a tendency of overexposing pictures. 
The result was nearly the same in HDR mode as the Galaxy M10 grabbed the most highlight and shadow details with the Redmi 6 coming in the second place. While the other two phones have depth sensors, the Galaxy M10 has a wide-angle lens which is pretty cool to see on a budget phone. When it comes to portraits, the Realme C1 applied the best bokeh on its subjects. The M10 comes second which is good but it misses out on certain parts of the body as you can see in these images. Budget phones don't really do well in low light, but even with all the blurry and noisy photos, the Redmi 6 resulted in bright image samples followed by the M10 which had slight details. The Realme C1 is just unusable in low light. These three phones are the best ones to buy in their price range. And in this comparison, the Galaxy M10 certainly did a better job and came on the top while the Realme C1 was just behind the M10. However, the Redmi 6 was left behind by its competitors even though it has the highest amount of RAM and internal memory. Apart from low-light shots and performance, it was outperformed by the other two phones in almost all the aspects. The Realme C1 has its quirks, but it did outperform the Redmi 6. The M10 performed well in almost all the departments and is our clear winner. So that is all for this video. Tell us what you think about these three phones in the comment section below. Till then, I am Pratima Adhikari and I'll see you in the next one.